please, please, please show me. Come on, show me the update. Can you show me the update? Please, can I have the update? Checking for updates. Checking for updates. Yes, 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 we have the update. All right then, so let's wait for the download and uh, let's go for a test. Hey, welcome back again to another FSD beta video. Um, I got a new version, the 10.69.3.1. Okay. All right, so I heard lots of good things about this new uh, version. And uh, actually, let's test it to see in reality how it goes. Now, I was about to say, okay, there's uh, the car sees this uh, lady to, trying to cross, which actually stopped very well. Wow, that was good, actually. Uh, so what happened was the, that person tried to cross um, in front of us and then in, last, in the last second she decided to go to the other street, which was perpendicular to us. So um, anyway, uh, Tesla was waiting patiently and waiting for that person to cross and um, didn't create any uh, <clears throat> panic issues. All right. <clears throat> from the safety point of view I found that FSD beta it is very cautious and that's exactly how it's supposed to be and this is exactly what we are expecting from um, self-driving uh, cars looks like we have to wait for that car to go and boom here you go that's our turn. Very good. Um, on the visualization on the left side, we, we we've seen the um, the traffic, the real time traffic, and obviously the map on the right. I'm going to let the map display. Uh, I don't know if I can increase a little bit. No, I thought I can uh, adjust the the window. Maybe not yet. I like to see more of this and less of the map, but no, it didn't stay. <laughs> I know, I mean, I can go in a full screen and I can see the map, but you'll not be able to see the direction, so I'm going to let it go. Uh, it was a message and I missed it. I'm not sure exactly what uh, the car tried to tell me. Okay. So this is our turn after right now. Yes. Okay, go. And this is a slow area. Obviously, we need to drive very careful. Lots of uh, schools around, by the way. And this is a time of the day when uh, everybody is going, every kid is going to school. Lots of school buses. And for that reason, we have to drive we, uh, with 40 kilometers per hour max. In certain areas, we have to go even 30 kilometers per hour. So we have the blue car on the left, but the problem is she's going, or it is going to the right and go. the lane because we are going straight forward based on the navigation we have to stay on this lane it will be 
another school here soon uh, on the right side so on this uh, 69 the 3.1 I'm trying to see some uh, visual visualization improvement uh, it's hard for me to notice that right now I have to drive for a while now but this is my first uh, test drive on this version and um, I'm paying attention to multiple things and honestly less thing uh, to, uh, to the navigation and to the visualization especially Pretty curvy road, but Tesla managed very well to take the corners. Very good, very, very good. So what uh, what I love it the the car didn't really freaking out um, what should I do now should I stop I, I don't know what the other person will do um, for that reason I don't know what to, I'm I'm gonna stop the car waiting for the other one to to see where it goes so no at this time actually the car um, no, I, I took over now. I was not sure if this guy was gonna stop he was wait he didn't really stop while he was exiting the parking lot but the problem is Tesla tried to get in so uh, I was not very confident about that and uh, I hit brakes it was not our fault but you know what in the end it's our responsibility to avoid any collisions any collision or any any problems any issues okay so we reach our first um, waypoint okay I just chose another random location and let's go for it I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do anything so the car waited for these two persons to cross Okay, and are we going? Where you go? A little bit too far to take the corner, but it was not too bad. All right. Yeah, the car doesn't really seize the the other driver. Um, or, uh, or car signal well this is a uh, I would say it's a kind of safety risk here assuming that that driver forgot the signal right and then it just signal right and then the car decided to or the driver decided to go straight forward well that, that, would, that would be a major problem and that's exactly what we try to avoid. In any cases, me as a human driver, I'm waiting to see the final decision for the driver 
And if I'm confident that a driver will turn right or go straight forward, then I'm going to uh, um, engage and go into uh, to the destination I want to or to the direction I want to. Well, actually slows down for the canal. Really? Wow, seriously? Can anybody tell me if this version 10.69.3.1, it is slowing down for the obstacles on the road? I was not aware about that. That will be a, that will be a huge surprise for me. So overall, what can I say so far for this version? Seems to be smoother than it used to be uh, before. It's more confident. Um, it knows what it's doing. I like it. Really, I like it so far. Let's see this one, because usually this is a problem where uh, so many times the car didn't turn left properly, and it, and it goes, it goes perfectly. Wow, that was good. For some reason, this intersection is kind of is messing up with the FSD. No idea why. Okay, one more thing. I realize now we are actually sitting on our side on the right side so it's not the 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 road is not marked um, and before the car tried to stay in the middle of the road which was bad but now seems to me that the car is is waiting and, and uh, sitting to the right side so that's great very very good so well this uh, this is our end of the of this test thank you so much for watching guys if you have any comments please let me know in the comment area below and um, i'll see you on the next one